Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril. I want to talk today about singular value decomposition or SVD. So why is the singular value decomposition a useful thing or something you should know? It's a very frequently used technique if you operate with matrices and what it does, it basically takes a matrix M and factorizes it into three special matrices. So you can write M as a product of three matrices. And these three matrices tell you something about the structure or property of this matrix M. For example, one of those matrices, the matrix we typically refer to as D, stores the singular values of my original matrix M. You can see singular values as being similar to eigenvalues. And that's a very useful information if you, for example, want to solve a um, homogeneous linear system. So AX equals to zero can be solved using SVD. Or if you want to solve a total least squares problem or compute the null space of a matrix or compute the pseudo inverse or an approximation of a matrix which is an orthogonal matrix or generate a matrix which has a certain rank deficiency and is as similar as possible to your original matrix. So these are techniques where we use the SVD in order to solve a practical problem, such as computing the fundamental or essential matrix. So the SVD in general can be seen as a generalization of the eigenvalue decomposition, and that also works with real and complex numbers which are not square matrices. So they can be rectangular, which is a big advantage. And the SVD generates basically three matrices, U, D, and V. U is an M by M matrix, and if you're in the real space, it is a rotation matrix. The matrix D is a matrix which is zero everywhere except of the first N main diagonal entries. It's an M by N matrix, and these are exactly the up to N singular values that we get out of here. And then we have the matrix V, which is again a rotation matrix. And the columns of U and V compute the left and write singular values of my original matrix M. Commuting the SVD is computationally quite costly. It's O of M times N squared. So if you have a squared matrix, it's a cubic complexity. Um, however, we can use this in order to solve a large number of relevant problems. As I said before, for example, using it to compute the solution to a linear homogeneous equation. So if you want to solve AX equals to zero, except of the trivial solution X equals to zero, obviously. Um, how can we do that? So what we do, we take this matrix A and decompose it into the three matrices U, D, and V. And assuming that um, the matrix D has the singular values sorted on the main diagonal, starting with the largest one, then we pick actually the element D, N, N, which corresponds to the smallest singular value. We inspect this value, and if this value is zero, then AX equals to zero actually has a solution besides the trivial one. And then we go into the matrix V, or we transpose, and from the matrix V, we take out the last column, because the last column corresponds to the singular vector corresponding to this singular value of zero. So this vector is actually a solution to the system AX equals to zero. And that's a pretty useful thing that we can use, for example, when we compute the fundamental matrix or essential matrix in computer vision or in photogrammetry. In order to compute the direct solution, we need to solve a large um, linear system with homogeneous property, so AX equals zero, and we can solve it with this technique. We can furthermore use it to enforce a rank deficiency. So the fundamental and essential matrix have a rank deficiency. We can compute the SVD and then take the smallest singular value and set it to zero in this matrix D, reconstruct the matrix, and then have a matrix where we can ensure this rank deficiency. So it's a pretty useful tool that we use to solve or tackle a large set of relevant problems. Thank you very much for your attention.